A Jacksonville nursing home facility is facing a $10 million federal lawsuit. Yeah, it comes from a now former employee who was openly gay. He says he was repeatedly harassed by three employees and forced to resign after he filed complaints with upper management. It felt like hell. It felt very uncomfortable. Every single day I came into work, I was not happy. Daniel Vernon says the harassment happened at the Life Care Centers of Jacksonville facility near Phillips Highway in the Bay Meadows area. And that's where News for Jackson reporter Eric Avigny is joining us live. Eric, explain the allegations and why Vernon's attorney believes he's got a solid case. Yes, the attorney says he not only has witness testimony to corroborate Vernon's uh, story about being harassed here inside this nursing home, he also has documentations that he says proves that his client reported the harassment and was forced out of his job afterwards. The whole this is video of when Daniel Vernon played the piano and sang for patients here at the Life Care Center of Jacksonville Nursing Home before he says he was forced out of his job. And I've been with the company for 11 years, so and in the other locations I've been treated like I was, you know, family, honestly. But then when I came to Jacksonville, it was a little different. Vernon, who is openly gay and a certified nurse's assistant, is talking about the verbal harassment. He says he repeatedly endured from three female co-workers who said things to his face that we can't repeat on air. Slurs and words would make me very uncomfortable. Um, and I would report it, but nothing was done about it. Vernon and his attorney say reporting the acts of sexual orientation harassment led to retaliation by a nursing home manager who, according to this federal lawsuit against the nursing home, forced Vernon to resign, then threatened to call police on him when a patient came over to Vernon and asked him if he was OK. I was like, why would you call the police? I'm not doing any harm or nothing. I was just talking to a patient. And he just kept going on and on saying, you need to get out, just go, just leave, hurry up and leave, I'm gonna call the police. Vernon's attorney, J. Eric Jones, says his client's statements have been validated by coworkers who were aware of what Vernon was going through. Witnesses have said it, text messages have said it, that he was experiencing a horrible, harassing, and tolerable work environment. The attorney feels his client's case will be heard in front of a federal jury, pointing to a Supreme Court ruling from last year that found it was illegal to discriminate or retaliate against a person because of their LGBT status. It's sad. I'm very sorry. That Frida Saraga is the founder of the Jacksonville chapter of the PFLAG, an organization of members of the LGBT community and their parents, families, and allies. She says she reviewed Vernon's case and wanted to send a message to people who think it's okay to demean and criticize people who are gay. That all people are equal that all people are the same. We were all born the same. And it's just, uh, it's not a choice. It's just who they are. Now, Life Care Centers of America released a statement tonight that says, we have recently been made aware of a lawsuit filed uh, against our facility by a former associate. Due to the pending legal action, we cannot provide specific information on this matter. Now, as for Vernon, he is now working at a different health care facility where he says he loves the environment, and he says all of his co-workers and even the management have treated him with much respect. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.